the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good afternoon, everyone. As we gather together as God's people, let us gather together under the banner of his love. We offer our Mass this morning for Maria Teresa Romero, who sadly died recently in the Philippines. We keep in our prayers her family and her loved ones at this time. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sin. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbour, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Today's epistle excerpt is taken from the book of Ecclesiastes. Rejoice in your youth, you who are young. Let your heart give you joy in your young days. Follow the promptings of your heart and the desires of your eyes. But this you must know, for all these things God will bring you to judgment. Cast worry from your heart, shield your flesh from pain, Yet youth, the age of dark hair, is vanity. And remember your Creator in the days of your youth, before evil days come and years approach when you say, These give me no pleasure. Before sun and light and the moon and stars grow dark and the clouds return after the rain. The day when those who keep the house tremble and strong men are bound. When the women grind no longer at the mill because day is darkening at the windows and the street doors are shut. When the sound of the mill is faint, when the voice of the bird is silent and songbirds are stilled, when to go uphill is an ordeal and a walk to something to dread. Yet the almond tree is in flower, the grasshopper is heavy with food and the caper bush bears its fruit while man goes to his everlasting home. And the mourners are already walking to and fro in the street before the silver cord has snapped, or the golden lamp has been broken, or the pitcher shattered at the spring, or the pulley cracked at the well, or before the dust returns to the earth as it once came from it, and the breath to God who gave it. Vanity of vanities, the preacher says, all is vanity. The word of the Lord. And the response is, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. You turn men back to dust and say, Go back, sons of men. To your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. You sweep men away like a dream, like the grass which springs up in the morning. In the morning it springs up and flowers, by evening it withers and fades. O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent. Is your anger forever? 
show pity to your servants. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Let the favour of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Now please stand for the gallop gospel affirmation. Alleluia, alleluia. Open our heart, O Lord, to accept the words of your Son. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At a time when everyone was full of admiration for all he did, Jesus said to his disciples, For your part, you must have these words constantly in your mind. The Son of Man is going to be handed over to the power of men. But they did not understand him when he said this. It was hidden from them, so that they should not see the meaning of it, and they were afraid to ask him what he had just said. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes in our lives we refuse to confront realities and truths maybe about ourselves or about somebody else or about something that is happening happening in our community or our family because sometimes to confront such things would cause us maybe personal suffering and personal pain jesus was never hesitant to let his disciples know that there would be suffering and pain at the end of his life we remember him reminding the disciples after Peter's confession of faith that he would be handed over to the authorities, that he would suffer and be lifted up. Peter at that time refused to accept that such a thing would happen. And in today's Gospel, Jesus is once again reminding them that the Son of Man is going to be handed over to the power of men, a subtle reference to the pain and suffering that he would receive. But the disciples, it seems, fail to understand and are fearful to ask him about what he had just said. Suffering is part of the human condition and at some point in our lives we would have either experienced suffering and pain or that we know that we will do at some point. It's part of the human condition. It's also part of our spiritual journey as well. But the great thing about such things in our lives is that when such things do come along, they never come alone. They always come with Christ. So let us turn to the Lord with our prayers and petitions this day. Let us pray for the Church and all of God's holy people, that we may in the midst of our lives support others who are in need of care, love and support. Lord, in your mercy, Amen. we pray for our world and its many needs at this time. Let us pray especially for peace and reconciliation amongst the nations, that wars may end and peace may come. Lord, in your mercy, Amen. let us pray for those who suffer alone, whether it be personal pain or emotional pain, that they may somehow find comfort in the midst of their need. Lord, in your mercy, Amen. we pray for those who are sick in mind, room, body, 
Remember especially those who are waiting medical procedures or those who have undergone them recently, that they may find healing and peace. Lord, in your mercy, Amen. we pray for those who have died and those whose anniversaries occur at this time. We pray for families who grieve and mourn, that they may be given comfort. Lord, in your mercy, Amen. and we ask for the prayers of Mary, Mother of Christ, as we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We make these and all our prayers through Jesus Christ, who is Lord for ever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favour, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to the, his disciples saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Declan, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Maria Teresa Romero, for whom we offer this Mass, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us join in prayer with those still unable to come to Mass, those still shielding at home, those may be joining us on YouTube and the live stream today with an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since many cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as if you were there already, and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our lives, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is up. I ask you today to keep in your prayers um, Thomas Laws, who is a deacon of our diocese who is being ordained to the priesthood today in Clifton Cathedral, um, probably would have started at about 11 o'clock, so we hopefully by now have another Father Tom, as if there are too many of us around anyway. Have a good day. <laughs>